Oh, well, that's right, uh, Beldo. Um, in Mr. Orban's ideology today, uh, the Hungarian opposition, uh, George Soros, uh, Western Europe, the whole uh, European Union, are the pro-immigration forces Hungary has to fight against. And uh, so far it was only protecting the borders from the immigrants, but now he introduced his, uh, what he called the action plan for protecting families. So the motive of the fight is uh, still there. Now the fact is that uh, the population of Hungary is decreasing and the mortality rates are still higher than birth rates. Comparing to Western Europe, the wages are low. Very important sectors like healthcare and education are uh, really uh, underfunded. And many people go to abroad, and many couples staying in Hungary uh, do not take the risk to have more than one child or have any children at all. So, population is an issue to tackle in Hungary. However, some analysts doubt that uh, to to this to confront with the situation of immigration, since the babies to be born uh, next year or today still have like uh, 20 more years until they can actually enter the labor uh, market and labor shortages are an issue of today in Hungary Bell. Uh, we've also got European elections coming up in May. What did uh, Orban have to say about those? Uh, Mr. Orban uh, took a lot of time in his speech to scold the leadership of the Uni European Union, uh, calling Brussels the, I quote, the new high castle of internationalism, using immigration as a tool. He said uh, there are some forces wanting to build a world government uh, above nations being controlled from abroad. Uh, Mr. Orban also accused Franz Timmermans, a top candidate of the socialists, to be a pro-immigration and an agent of George Soros. Well, uh, after Orban's speech, the main opposition parties held uh, an anti-government rally. How did that turn out? Uh, starting the morning, uh, some of the opposition supporters uh, um, blocked a bridge in Hungary. That was a planned protest. And also uh, more than 2,000 people gathered and took a march uh, in, uh, in, in Budapest, uh, visiting the prime minister's offices and, and had a rally there. Um, they actually pointed out uh, all the things Mr. Orban did not uh, spoke about. And they also pointed out that the, the opposition is now together and they have some kind of strength. This is what uh, one of the independent lawmakers uh, told us about. The TV is lying, the radio and the papers lie, the majority of the media lies, just like the government does. That is why Viktor Orban feels secure, but he shouldn't be. There is still free media and there are still free citizens, there's still Facebook Live. And you are here too, who can speak up in the family, at the workplace. And you should speak up, because this regime will waver if these party flags will stay together and everybody speaks their minds. Starting at the end of last year, opposition parties uh, joined their forces and uh, they uh, tried to uh, put candidates together uh, against uh, the government's candidates in the coming up uh, European parliamentary elections, uh, though there they, they will take place uh, separately. But there's going to be a municipality uh, election uh, later on this year and uh, the opposition's plan is to have one candidate against one candidate of the government in each, uh, uh, um, in, in each town and, and each uh, uh, section of the country.